welcome back to my channel so today what I'm gonna be focusing on is gonna be uh, talking to you guys about my journey of what I actually try to do and what I'm gonna be doing now to help me with my uh, weight and my body and help me tone up so pretty much what I'm gonna be doing is the differences between me getting surgery and me uh, actually working out the hard way I actually did go in a consultation and I did talk to a doctor about you know getting the look I wanted like that Instagram body look so I am gonna talk about it about that so let's just go ahead and dive into the video I wasn't able to fil film the entire consultation just because I was already nervous and I felt like I didn't want to bring in a camera and ask the doctor questions with the camera because I was literally nervous. I could feel myself shaking and thinking of putting my body through that trauma like being in a, in a medical setting. It just kind of blew my mind and I started asking questions so when I was asking questions to the doctor he's an amazing doctor by the way he is a really good doctor he answered all my questions and the staff is amazing I'll go ahead and link their name if you guys are interested like I said I'm not against surgery that's definitely something if you guys are trying to do then pursue it if that's what you think it's gonna make you happy but to me I think I needed to see this personally myself and go in and just kind of get a second opinion one more time and being in my late 20s just really evaluating my life and knowing that there's other options other than obviously surgery because surgery is not always the way but like i said i am not here to let you know that surgery is not good everybody you guys are more than welcome to do i'm not saying i would do it in the future but i'm just saying as of right now I'm not gonna go ahead and move forward with my surgery because I do, I've never really gave my body the chance to see what it is really capable of doing or working out because I know when I was really working out, I know my body could get to a certain uh, expectation and I'm sure it would now, especially because if I physically train constantly and I did get a trainer, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go on and eat healthy, but that's pretty much besides the point so I'm just here to kind of raise awareness because like I said I've been seeing it a lot and it's just not fair for everybody else especially younger girls younger girls that are in their early 20s and really just changing their physique trying to look like something that TV and society fills and you feel like you have that void to fill because you're not good enough and you're not perfect enough and I feel like for all those young women watching out there or seeing, not necessarily watching me, but just seeing like society, what's become in the past couple of years, like it's just been evolving so crazy. But I mean, it's just so hard to understand that there's an image out there that one young girl is reaching and she will never reach because one, she doesn't look half of that person and that shouldn't be you are beautiful as you are and i feel like as women now that we have a lot of voice and a lot of we're being res we're being respected in so many ways i feel like we should also raise ourselves up and phys physically understand that not everybody is the same but you are beautiful in every way and form that you are so I'm not here, like I said, I'm not here saying surgery is a bad thing. Surgery can be a great thing for you if that's something that you want to fix. It will raise your self-esteem. I'm for it. But I think um, there is different ways and for you to go ahead and, uh, you know, change your image. If you're not happy, you, there's other ways, healthier ways. Working out, detoxing your body. Um, you know, a lot of people have skin issues. You know, I have skin issues myself, so I feel like this video is really just about that, just taking you guys through the journey. I also do want to add, I'm not here 
as a doctor, educator, educator or anything like that. I'm just here to bring you guys through my journey. So if you guys don't agree with me or if you disagree with what I'm saying, then that's your personal opinion. I'm not here to change it. I'm just here to show you guys what a workout can actually help your body do and avoid surgery and just be happy with yourself, be healthy and just strive for a better living and a healthier living. So that's really what I'm here for. I'm not here to change your mind. I'm not here for me. I am just going to show you guys that if I can do it, anybody can do it. So yeah, just if you guys do want to go ahead and keep watching me, I will show you guys my journey on my workout and what I have done to get where I want to. Hi guys, welcome back today. Today is a day one of my workout challenge. So I do feel a little like nervous starting this. And so pretty much this is my outfit here, gym. But th this is technically how my body looks right now. I don't have a full abs. I am only, I do have a lot of rolls on my back so i have that to work on and obviously my bottom i need to work on that and my stomach i do have a a square that i need to work on and this is just excess fat that i have and also my arms are something that i also need to work on and obviously as you guys can see some rolls here so yeah so pretty much i am not where i want to be i am at day one uh, and yeah, so this is where I am. I'm in my room, so I'm going to show you guys my outfit. And yeah, so technically I do want to gain more muscle, more muscle mass. And just be able to, I don't know, just feel a little bit more comfortable in my skin, as I mentioned to you guys. So yeah, so this is day one of my... So my workout is officially done. And now I'm just going to eat this delicious meal. Chicken and all kinds of veggies. I need my protein. Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog. I am currently... I'm like ready right now but I am about to eat I'm trying to stay consistent with my diet and I did go ahead and get chipotle sauce <laughs> chipotle sorry and I'm gonna go ahead and eat some of it I I haven't had a chance to meal prep so far but I am gonna be doing that very soon more like later on today so yeah so that's pretty much what i'm doing right now this is so far this is week one of my workout and uh, so far i am starving um so again in the morning i did have i didn't record what i ate in the morning but i just had uh oatmeal and i very thing i had first thing i had was my my uh, detox tea then i had my oatmeal and a side of eggs and then that was it that's all i ate so far when oh, i ate an apple because i was getting hungry right now it is currently 206 and i am starving no wonder so i did get chipotle so i'm gonna go ahead and eat some of it um because i am starving i tried i didn't add any any wok or any I did add a little bit of cheese I still feel like I'm not doing this so good so I did get a lettuce bowl and then I did add chicken I did add a little bit of cheese um, and then obviously beans and that's pretty much what I got mm. So far, my journey has not been easy. I had to clean up my pantry. 
No sweets whatsoever. This is hard. Mm. But I do have a trip coming up, so I'm excited for that. Well, not till June. <laughs> That's pretty much why I'm looking what I'm looking forward to and start shopping for like bathing suits and stuff like that. So yeah, so so far, this is my meal. Oh, and I'm also. <clears throat> Also currently wearing a waist trainer. It bends, but yeah, so pretty much I'm wearing a waist trainer. And I've been wearing it all day. So yeah, so pretty much that is it. I just wanted to share with you guys my meal. So, we'll see.